What's happening guys, it's Shane here. So in this video, I am gonna go over the college degrees that create the most billionaires. Now I know I went over in another video the ones that create the most millionaires, and that's a little more practical for the everyday person, I think, but just for fun, let's go over the ones that create the most billionaires. Now, if you remember back to the uh, video, the one, the degrees that create the most millionaires, engineering was actually number one. And it's kind of interesting because on this list, it's not. And honestly, this list was actually extremely surprising to me. There were a lot on this list that just blew my mind a little bit. You just blew my mind. <laughs> Um, but you have to realize that these people are just extreme outliers. These are not normal human beings whatsoever. They either got exceptionally lucky or they're exceptionally intelligent or good at business or maybe, you know, they inherited a bunch of money from their parents and then they were smart about how they used it. So these are definitely not normal human beings. So take it with a grain of salt. But overall, it's going to be fun to go over it. So let's start off right away with number 10 on the list, which is physics. And by the way, this was a study of the Forbes uh, 400 list of the you know top 400 billionaires of the world. And uh, like I said, number 10 is going to be physics. And that comes in with about six total billionaires. And again, this is a little bit surprising here. I mean, physics is a really good major. It's well respected. It's also probably one of the most difficult majors you can get. It's even harder than engineering, probably. And so I think Elon Musk did physics in undergrad, for instance. Um, it's a very difficult one, so you have to be super intelligent in order to even be able to do it, and you probably also have to be a very hard worker. Those are two things that you know, you'd know you probably need to become a billionaire in the first place, so I'm not too surprised by this one. Physics is a little bit more theoretical than engineering. I think engineering is a lot more practical. You can use it to solve real-world problems, and so it's basically like practical problem-solving which is very similar to entrepreneurship. So I think engineering is probably a better one if you're trying to get into entrepreneurship. And obviously most of these people were entrepreneurs, I'm guessing, because that's the only way you're gonna to get to the billionaire status. So number nine on the list is going to be philosophy. Uh, that came in with about six total billionaires overall. And uh, that one is a little bit surprising to me. You know, it's a liberal arts major for one. Um, those usually don't become millionaires, but again, these people are not normal human beings. This is a good beginning of my plan to dominate the human race. <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of not that surprising philosophy is very interesting you could say it's also very practical you can apply it to the real world especially things like you know game theory for instance where you basically use it to make really good decisions there's a lot of uh, people in business that are adopting principles of game theory and philosophy had about six of the uh, you know 400 uh, billionaires on the list so pretty good one number eight on the list is going to be history and that comes in with about nine billionaires and this one is near and dear to my heart because history is probably one of my favorite subjects it's definitely like top three for sure and uh, again a little bit surprising because it's a it's a liberal arts sort of major doesn't really have any practical use in the real world but again these are not practical people these are people that got either exceptionally lucky or they did something just totally crazy where the odds were against them and they just happened to succeed. So I can see how this one would come in handy. Um, by studying the past, you can sort of predict what's gonna happen in the future. There's a lot of truth to that. And so learning from the mistakes of the past, you can make better decisions in the future. So again, I can definitely see how this one could lead to someone becoming a billionaire. Number seven on the list is going to be, is honestly very surprising, and it's gonna be English with about nine total billionaires on this one. So I, I, I really don't know what to say about this one. I guess communication is a very important skill. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? For any, you know, high level business person. So and that way, English could definitely come in handy because you're kind of learning to communicate, um, although it's more over written communication. But, you know, it can apply to the real world, I think. So, yeah, I guess this one kind of does make sense if you really think about it but I'd say that was probably the most surprising one on the whole list. Surprise, surprise, surprise. <laughs> Number six on the list is going to be politics, and it's gonna come in with about 10 total uh, billionaires. And this one's not surprising at all. In fact, I'm kind of surprised it's not further up on the list. You know, if you understand politics, you understand, you know, how economics works, sort of, and 
when some giant law gets passed or something that's always going to affect different markets and if you can predict how that's going to affect markets you could invest in there or you could maybe start a business in an emerging market or something along those lines so i'm not surprised at all that uh, politics is so high on the list number five on the list is going to be a newcomer and i see this one shooting up the list in the next 50 years and that's going to be computer science it comes in with about 11 total billionaires. Now, again, this one is relatively new, so you know the time it takes to accumulate a billion dollars, that takes a very, very long time to do that generally. And you know, computers have only been you know functional for like the last like 30 years to where a lot of people could use them anyways. So this is one where I definitely see it shooting up in the list. I think it's gonna be in the top three, 20 to 30 years from now, maybe even number one relatively soon but it's very obvious the applications of this everything is moving towards technology software hardware everything is moving towards computer science and if you have a knowledge of how computers work you're going to have a very good idea of how to you know, start businesses in that sector etc etc so definitely not surprised on this one number four on the list was a little bit surprising and that's mathematics now it comes in with about 14 total billionaires and again i say this is a little bit surprising but surprise 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 when you're up at this high level where you're just making a ridiculous amount of money i mean the same amount of money that some countries make for goodness sakes it's just totally ridiculous things like mathematics probably come in handy I bet a lot of these people who uh, were mathematics uh, majors, what they ended up doing is they probably went into finance and then became quants or something like that. They started their own uh, hedge fund or something along those lines. Number three on the list is no surprise whatsoever. It's going to be business majors and that comes in with about 38 total billionaires. So you're really seeing it ramp up here. And again, no surprise if you want to make just ridiculous like entire country money. I was thinking about buying a small country or something. And then, you know, you're probably going to be starting a business of some sort. You know, you're going to be an entrepreneur. You're going to start a business. And that is how you're going to create your fortune. So it's no surprise to see that business comes in at number three. And honestly, I'm a little surprised it's not a little bit higher on the list. Number two on the list is going to be engineering. And that comes in with a total amount of billionaires of 43. And again, this one was actually number one on the top 10 degrees that create the most millionaires list. So again, I'm not surprised that engineering uh, is this high on the list. Uh, a lot of engineers that end up on the list learn everything about their field. And then what do they do? They end up becoming entrepreneurs in their field, innovating, creating something that nobody else has done, creating an amazing product and making a ton of money from it. Number one, economics and finance. And that comes in with about 62 total billionaires. I, I'm not a big fan of the fact they combine them because those two things are definitely different. But at the same time, are you really surprised in this one? A lot of people who become go into the finance industry or they understand economics really well and they become billionaires by investing, you know, maybe opening up a hedge fund, investing other people's money and then taking a small percentage of that for themselves, like Warren Buffett did, for instance, with Berkshire Hathaway. But yeah, this one, you know, makes a lot of sense. Investing is is the way to get rich. You know, you gotta make your money work for you. But don't forget to go ahead and watch the here because I made them just for you. Smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and then comment down below and have on this video. Thank you so much and bye for now.